Thanks for joining me, Emma Louise Hamilton at the Amazon Dream. This video is going to be a vlog of me doing retail arbitrage to send in items for Amazon FBA. I'm actually going to go to a few stores so I can stock up my inventory because it is running quite low and as we're going into quarter four, I definitely need to stock up. The first stop is going to be Sainsbury's because I was in there a few days ago and I noticed I had a sale on some toys. I actually didn't have my scanner with me so I couldn't check those out but they look pretty good from first sight. So come along and join me as I go and do retail arbitrage for Amazon FBA. Hi guys, so I'm just heading into Sainsbury's now, as you can see. Sainsbury's. No! And behind me, you can see a selection of the toys which have been reduced. So now what I'm actually going to do is pull out my scanner and start scanning some of these items to see if any of them are actually profitable. So I've just scanned this item and it's currently for sale at Sainsbury's for £13.50. However, in the Amazon app, you can see that Amazon are actually sending it for £9.95. So this item is a no no. So this is an interesting item that I wanted to go a bit more in depth with. As you can see, Sainsbury's are selling it for £16.50. The seller's rank on this item is 139,000 in toys, which isn't bad. That's going to be in the top 2% for its category. As you can see, Amazon are not selling it and there's no FBA offers. There are three sellers selling this via fulfillment by merchant. So on the surface, this seems like it would be a good deal as we can sell it for double the price we paid for it. However, I'm going to look at the keeper chart and look a bit further in depth. The keeper chart is demonstrating the last three months of sales for this item and as you can see it previously was selling quite well up until around July the 16th where after that it hasn't really had any sales because you can see the green line has climbed and climbed and climbed up the sales rank. Also the orange triangles indicate offers by FBA sellers. As you can see the last sort of FBA offer was on July the 1st around that date. So I'm wondering why are no FBA sellers sending in this item when it's clearly got a good return on investment. What I'm actually going to do is go onto amazon.co.uk and look at the sales page to see if I can find any more information about this product. So we've got this Transformers toy and it's selling for £9. I'm going to pop this into the Amazon sellers app. It's selling for £4.45 and you'd buy it for £9. I put in shipping to Amazon at 50 pence, so it's an approximate return on investment of 64 pence. So if we brought it, we would make 64 pence profit. However, that's not really the profit margins we're looking for. So I'm going to leave this for today and I'm going to actually head on to another shop because the discounts in Sainsbury's at the moment are not really bringing back good returns on investment. Therefore, I'm going to wait until there are better sales to be had. So I'm just in Argos at the moment and I do have some sales on so just save one third on toys. I'm sort of looking for buy a toy park price 50% up so I'm going to continue looking and see if I find any deal. Bingo! I have found a toy in the toys category which is 50% off. It was £59.99 and now it's been reduced to £29.99. Now I looked in the Amazon catalogue and I could actually not find the exact item. I could find a variation but not the exact same one. It was a bit disappointing but I decided to leave this item. Hi guys, I actually spent longer than I anticipated in Sainsbury's and then I went to Argos as well. So I'm going to call it a day for today. I did actually pick up a few bits, uh, one or two items which I found. So I'm going to get those listed on Amazon. Hi guys, so I've just returned home from my day out doing retail arbitrage and it's been a semi-successful day. I ended up finding some bits at the end. They weren't toys but they were actually from the beauty category. So I'm going to be working on sending those into Amazon. Um, I've also had a few requests to do an online course for people who want to learn retail and online arbitrage. It's something that I may be interested in doing to 
depending on the demand. It'd be an in-depth course taking you from beginner until your first sale doing retail and online arbitrage. So if you're interested, um, be sure to click the link in the description box just to register your interest. And if I do go ahead and do the course, uh, those people that register will get some sort of launch discount and you will be one of the first to be notified if I do go ahead and do a course. So thanks enough for watching. Be sure to hit my face to subscribe. And if you like what you've seen in this video, smash the like button. Thanks enough for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.